Hey there YouTube, Corn Cop Piper coming at you on a Saturday morning. Sitting out here on my uh, porch enjoying some uh, Russ Ouellette's Kaleidoscope in my Mini Missouri Meerschaum uh, Cob Pipe, both gifted to me uh, by uh, Black Robe Church Brother Chris. It's a nice little blend. I'm quite thoroughly enjoying this. I'm I'm glad he sent it to me. I know once this is gone, this will definitely be a blend uh, that I order again. This is a, a aromatic. And it reminds me a lot of Juicy Fruit Gum. Uh, so the reason for my video today, uh, I guess this is my weekend of Yabos. I have a Yabo here from Nika Piper. Uh, who sent me this uh, through the mail. I just got it yesterday. I didn't have time to open it, so I figured I'd get to that uh, this morning. Uh, so the story is that I had watched a video of his, and at the end he had mentioned, you know, he's he's got a, a beard going, and he mentioned that he was looking for a woodsy-scented uh, uh, beard oil, and... Uh, up until about January 1st, I had a pretty substantial beard. It was probably down to, uh, I don't know, about here or so. And uh, I decided at one point to make my, my own beard oil and balm because I wanted something organic. And I was looking for a specific scent. And the specific scent I was looking for was a mixture of uh, cedarwood, sandalwood, and pine. Uh, so I went ahead and put the oil together. Uh, with several different oils, all organic, and uh, some essential oils, and then I made some balm too, with obviously which is the same oil, but you're just adding some uh, shea butter and uh, beeswax to it. So same scent for the beard balm, except because of the be beeswax that's in there, it's got a uh, kind of a, a honey note added to it too, which is a nice touch. So as you can see. I'm in the process of growing my beard back right now. It's going to be quite a while before it's uh, long enough probably to use the oil and the balm. Uh, but when I did go ahead and make it, I, I made enough, uh, you know, to last me for years. So at any rate, I, you know, he mentioned that he was looking for, for that kind of a scent of beard oil. Uh, I had the stuff. I offered it to him. I sent it to him. I hope you uh, are enjoying it there, Nika Piper. Uh, I know I quite enjoyed it myself. And that was that. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't doing it to get something in return. I wasn't really expecting anything, but uh, you know, I guess that's how the the YTPC goes. You know, we we take care of each other. So, thanks so much, brother, for uh, the Yavo. Uh, I'm excited to get into this and see what you sent me. He had messaged me a little while ago. Uh, You know, asking me what kind of tobaccos that I was most interested in. Sent him a quick message back, so I'm pretty pretty excited to see you know what's what's in here. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into this box opening. Let me go ahead and readjust my camera so you can see set up a little table here. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Here I just set up a little. Uh, Home Depot bucket I'm going to use for the table while I'm out here. And uh, let's go ahead and cut this open and see what's inside. So I'm always usually a little confused about these, these post office boxes. I'm not really sure. You would think that they would make these a little bit easier to open, but I haven't seemed to figure out an easy way. So let's, let's see if we can get in here real quick and see what's in here. Alright, so I see some baggies right off the bat, guys, so let's see. First off, we have some Sal, Sam Galwith Full Virginia Flake. I have never tried this Virginia Flake. From what I hear, this is supposed to be the best. I am a big fan of straight Virginias. I do have an unopened tin of this, which I've never tried. I wanted to get at least one more before I crack the sealed one open, so... Mm. So this is, uh, I'm sniffing it here, you guys can't see me, I'm getting the bag note. So what I'm smelling here is obviously the, the sweetness from the Virginias and, you know, the hay note 
that the Bright Virginias are known for. So that's awesome, buddy. I'm glad you sent me this. Now you know I've, I've been. You know this stuff is hard to get, and I'm looking forward to trying it. And I don't have to worry about you know waiting till I get that second tin to get it open. Oh, this is another one. Sam Gawith Fire Dance Flake. This is another uh, flake that I've been meaning to actually purchase. And uh, from what I hear, people either have a love or hate relationship with this stuff. They either love it or hate it. Let's go ahead and uh, give this a, a sniff. So I'm getting very very similar smell to the uh, full Virginia flake this one has a bit more sweetness to it than the the full Virginia flake this fire dance flake then I'm also picking up maybe a little bit of a plum note and just like a hint of cinnamon so man these are just some awesome blends you sent me buddy I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to trying these out thank you so much Man, he really, he really hooked me up here, guys. Lots of bags in here. Lots and lots of bags. This here is Cornell and Deal Comfort. Uh, I have actually never heard of this blend. Let me go ahead and give that a whiff. This one, again, primarily comprised of Virginias. I'm getting the sweetness, the hay. Definitely tap with something, uh, maybe some vanilla. Another nice one, and I'm just—I don't want you guys to have to sit here forever, so I'm not—I'm not, I'm not going to go through and uh, you know sniff every bag. This is uh, the Dunhill uh, three-year matured Virginia. Uh, I have not tried this one. I do have a couple unopened tins. This is another. It's aromatic Virginia. I just quickly sniffed the bag. I'm uh, getting some hints of some citrus in that one. Uh, so another man. These are all. You did good here, buddy. These are all. These are all blends that I'm looking forward to trying out. Orlick Mellow Mixture. I've never tried this one either. So I've had the uh, Golden Sliced, as well as the uh, Dark Fired. So I'll have to check this one out and see what that one's all about. I do, I am a big fan of Orlick. All the products that I've had so far are, have been quite delicious. Next we have Hearth and Home El Nino. This is a uh, English blend mixed by, uh, I believe, Russ Ouellette, who I'm smoking right now, his Kaleidoscope. Mmm, man, that one smells fantastic. I don't have any of these tins of El Nino. That's one of the ones that I had planned on uh, ordering here in the future. So I'm super excited I get to try all these out before I purchase them. You know, that way I don't make the mistake that I did with uh, Nightcap and I ordered some bulk and some, uh, you know, a tin of it and it turns out that I just really dislike the stuff. So Nika Piper, if you're watching my Abo, don't forget to get your VR in uh, today is the last day and that goes for everybody else. I'm going to be doing the drawing uh, it's tomorrow morning after I get up. So I'm a pretty early riser. So you want to make sure if you do that VR, you get it uh, uploaded uh, you know, by this evening or before first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, just post a comment in my giveaway video uh, letting me know you did it. So this is uh, Sutliff Christmas Spice. Uh, I hear this is... Uh, Mmm, smells like sugar cookies, guys. I hear this is this is a, a really good one. Mmm, that's a pretty nice aromatic. I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna you know hold off on this one and trying it and save it till the holidays. Um, that's just how I am. I you know I'd like uh, setting the stuff sides to uh, you know kind of celebrate with, and this is gonna be one of those. So I'm looking forward to this one come come November, end of November, and maybe I'll smoke the first bowl of that on Thanksgiving. Man, this, this box is loaded. Thank you so much again, brother. This is really awesome. Cornell and Deal Crooners 2008. So I was watching Nika Piper, uh, and I was really hoping to get this one out of everything that he sent me. So I was watching him uh, do a, um, 
a pipe review and you know he was breaking in a pipe for a buddy and his buddy only wanted to smoke crooners uh, in the in the pipe and I've never it almost looks like rabbit, rabbit pellings rabbit pellets in there hopefully you guys can see that but I've never smoked a pipe that is mixed with a, a herb um, so I was pretty interested in you know finding out what the deer tongue was like was like this one I'm definitely gonna get a whiff of let you guys know what it smells like because uh, I have no idea what deer tongue smells like so that's it's a unique very unique smelling tobacco I, I wouldn't even know how to describe this one to you let me let me get one more whiff I'm, I'm gonna try my best So, it's probably not going to come across the best because it smells better than what I'm going to describe it as. But it smells almost like a like a, a horse pen. So, I mean, you know, obviously there's some Virginia in here. I'm getting the hay, but that 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 deer tongue definitely is adding some kind of a a unique uh, mustiness to the tobacco. So I'm, I'm going to get into this one this afternoon. So I'm going to smoke this one right away. Maybe I'll do a review of it. I've yet to do any tobacco reviews on my station, on my channel. Maybe this will be my first one here. So we'll see. I still have a few more videos I got to shoot this weekend. I have another Yabo. I want to do a VR2 Mexican Pipers uh, 100 sub giveaway. Next in the box, guys, we got Cornell and Deal Gentleman Seller. Never heard of this one either. Another Virginia. I'm thinking maybe this has some deer tongue in it also. Uh, I'm getting that same. Yeah, it definitely does. I'm getting that same mustiness uh, smell in this one. So this one actually has a quite a bit more enjoyable smell than the the crooners. But um, you know, I like those funky foul tasting tobacco so I, I'm, I'm guessing that I'm gonna like the crooners a little bit more than this one but you know we'll see on that and is these bags just keep coming and coming and coming in here Cornell and deer seersucker this looks like a it's either a, a cake or a plug definitely a cake I guess never heard of this one either another Virginia that's got a let me give you a better view of this one. It's got a pretty nice looking, pretty nice looking cake there. It looks like we got, man, they keep coming and coming and coming. Suge, Winner's Embrace. So I actually was thinking about purchasing some Suge. Uh, looks like you read my mind pretty good here, uh, Nika, on the, uh, on a, on a, on a you know, pipe tobacco you sent me. This is all stuff that I was planning on buying in the future. And I got to mention, too, I, you know, I blocked off the address here. I didn't want anybody to see it, man. But the city you live in is, is pretty cool. Kill Devil Hills. Uh, you know, I, I think I would like to tell people, you know, hey, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Kill Devil Hills. That's a pretty, pretty neat city. This is Suge Winter Embrace. I'm guessing this is going to be a lot of Kia blend. Uh, most, uh, you know, probably a bomb because most winter blends are a lot of Kia bombs. Oh, I am wrong. So this is another Virginia. Nice, nice smell. That one's going to be super sweet. I can already tell by smelling that one. And man, it looks like there's two more, guys. Two more. Shortcut to mushrooms. This is a uh, Just For Him blend. I have not ordered anything from Just For Him. Uh, I've heard great things about this blend. Uh, I probably wouldn't have bought this for a long time, but it's always been in the back of my mind to get one. So that's pretty, pretty awesome thing to do. This, this is an English blend. I'm getting a lot of Orientals and Virginias out of this one when I smell it. So I'm looking forward to this one too, man. I don't, need, I don't know which one of these I wanna, I wanna smoke first, Ramon. Last one, Orlick Racing Green. Uh, this is another, uh, also another one, uh, love-hate tobacco uh, that I've seen. Either people love it or they hate it. Virginia. And I think I'm smelling some Burleys maybe too. But I don't really, it doesn't look like there's Burleys in here. This might be just a Virginia and Oriental ribbon. 
we'll see. I'll have to look all these up, guys. I'm I'm fairly fa uh, fairly new to pipe smoking, so I'm trying to you know get my palate and my nose to pick out the different nuances in tobaccos. But you know, good thing we got the internet. Watch for views on YouTube and white TPC. Uh, to learn about these things and help us. And then it looks like there's a note in here too, guys. And let me go ahead and adjust the camera. Sorry for the shakiness. Get back up here to my ugly mug. And we'll go ahead and check this note out real quick. So before I read the note, man, Ramon and Nika Piper, thanks so much, man, for the... Uh, the, the box of goodies, man. Everything in there that you chose was awesome. All stuff that I've wanted to try. Uh, real excited about that crooners. And then there was a couple more blends in there also that I'm super excited about, like that short cut for mushrooms. And then the uh, the Samuel Gall with full Virginia Flake. Uh, so, man, it, I, I can tell you what, guys. We, we got a great community here with the YTPC. Always willing to help each other out. Uh, you know, if you aren't involved and you are a pipe smoker, you know, it's it's time time to get involved, guys. Um, it's just one of the, the greatest things about being a pipe smoker. You know, before I before I became part of the YTPC, I felt all alone in pipe smoking. I've mentioned this a couple times. I, you know, I, none of my friends smoked pipe. It was just me. Um, and I stumbled across some videos on YouTube, and I've been off and running since, and my, my palate's been completely changed when it comes to pipe smoking because of it. And I just thank, can't thank you guys uh, enough, uh, you know, and especially you, you Ramon. So he wrote on here, hopefully that's not backwards, bro note. And then, hey, Corey, I really appreciate you sending me some beard oil and balm as well as the Lane 1Q. And I forgot to add my bro note to your box, Ramon. I, I apologize for about that. I, I realized after I'd already put it in the mail. Uh, here's a little something as my way of saying thank you. Uh, keep up the good vids. I really enjoy them. God bless, Ramon, Nika Piper. So, man, thank you again, Ramon. Uh, like I said, I hope you are really enjoying the uh, beard balm and oil. You know, once again, you want to out of the shower, put the oil on. Uh, you could hit it again in the morning with a little bit of oil just to, you know, get it to sit right and then go in with, you know, scrape some of the balm out with the back of your thumbnail, heat it up with your skin and then brush it in. That's going to help tame uh, your beard all day. But, uh, you know, that's how you want to be using it. And I hope you enjoy the scent and it was everything you're looking for. And, you know, thanks a million for the pipe tobaccos, brother. I'm going to, you know, get inside and I'm going to jar these up and uh you know start smoking them later today so uh youtube you have yourself a a great afternoon everybody thanks for watching and as always keep on piping